Good morning, guys. Good morning. Happy Friday. Welcome to Final Friday. Um, no more Canada. <laughs> Uh, let's go around and, and like introduce the guests, Rotarians. Yes, we have uh, Ron Perry, our Kibahai principal. Hi. Hey. Would you like oh. to? Uh, my wife, Nira, and our daughter, Kiyomi, is here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Danielle is here, and then my granddaughter, Benny. Oh. <laughs> Uh, wanted to uh, congratulate this will be easier without this in the way. To our new AG, Ian. Well, hello. <laughs> I guess Maggie's not here to. Careful what you put on Facebook because I will steal it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So um, Maggie uh, has some necessary duties with her mom to uh, care for her health and uh, you know organize her family. So Maggie had uh, signed on with our district governor Jennifer at the beginning of the year uh, to be the area governor to take care of the four northern clubs Del Norte uh, or Crescent City, Ad River, Arcata, and Arcata Sunrise. And um, this week earlier I had lunch with Jennifer um, and if you haven't met Jennifer yet what you'll find out when you do meet her is that she is somebody that you get so excited about what she's doing that you just can't say no. So I will be uh, <laughs> helping the uh, clubs in our Northern District region to uh, succeed this year uh, in partnership with Jennifer. So you'll meet Jennifer next week, thanks. Oh, yes. Excuse me, last week, uh, this sign was vandalized. It's in the community garden right over, you've all seen it driving up to HSU and, and such, uh, clearly um, a divisive type of paint over. Fortunately, it's been restored since, but their ask of help is that uh, as a community, we attend their garden days and help them continue to develop that community resource. Uh, so thanks for considering that. When are the garden days? Are we just to look out for them or? Uh, they're typically on Wednesdays um, at varying times, but if, if you follow them on uh, social media, they spread their updates. Robin here? No, she's yeah, not. She uh, well, congratulations, Robin. She got engaged to Nate Zwardley. Maybe she's on. And Charlie's not here, but um, this is uh, your fundraising dollars at work. Uh, we have paid for uh, fire extinguishers and uh, smoke alarms for the Sorrel place, which is gonna open in 2023. It's a home to help transitional age youth people uh, with addiction problems. There, it's like kind of like a very include, uh, oh, let's see, all encompassing. There's gonna be, oh, let's, what would you call it? There's like resources galore for people that uh, don't have family to help support them through recovery processes. Where, where is it? It's on Older Cater Road. Oh. Uh, the Summer Sunrise Sale. Who has not talked about it yet? That's on that committee. All right, Rebecca, you're up. <laughs> You guys at this point should now be halfway, at least halfway through your garage, looking for items to sell, correct? And the 
Oh, and your mini storages. Oh my God, anybody has a mini storage, get rid of it. It's a waste of money in my opinion. Just get rid of it, sell the stuff, it's a waste of money. So this is a great time to do that. Um, it is gonna be the 13th and the 14th. Um, there is a sign up genius out, I believe, to help um, with the organizing and the sorting and also day of. Um, if you've got any large items, let us know. Are there any questions? When can we drop them off? We can drop them off the week before. There are hours. Ian, do you know the hours? You were on the committee and you haven't talked. <laughs> <laughs> the hours are in an excellent email. Uh, Romy, uh, I think maybe took just, sent email. Email. just sent out yesterday uh, for drop off next all through next week. And if you have special hours, text her and she'll arrange that for you. But also, and it's actually the week after. She may have sent out that email, forgetting that there's two weeks between August 1st and August like 13th. So. Actually, next week, you have all the time to collect stuff, and it's the week after. So it's the week prior to the event that we'll be collecting stuff. So hours are the same, but maybe she might have matter, missed up right. the dates. For now, as you, you know, uh, click going or interested on our social media event, there's an event page. You will then start seeing the items that are being sent in. You send me photos. If you got any, we'll put them up on the site to generate free interest for the sale and uh, share those as much as you can. That, that's our method of advertising. Uh, Maggie also put out a press release. It was a little before we had images, but uh, those images will be cycling in now throughout up until the sales so that people will know what they're looking for and get there early and you know, help clear our way for getting those things sold. Any other questions? Oh, I was just gonna say the fire and light. So Janice is donating a bunch of fire and light again, which shot us over our goal a couple of years ago. And if any of you have fire and light, Please let us know ahead of time and we'll sell it on a special Facebook group that we can get high dollar for rather than- So people shouldn't sale. expect to see Fire and Light at the sale. No. Does our social media have like a link to I our- a comment okay. on there, yeah. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you. Any other questions? Keep an eye out, there's some polyoxy earrings and a necklace also, uh, Terry generated, donated generously. And Ian, a sailboard, S-A-I-L, not S-A-L. <laughs> As the email says, I'm dropping off some dressers. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Excuse me. AJ. Good morning, all. Um, Good morning. So, uh, when we were looking for um, a place for rainwater catchment, Romy did some a lot of legwork like, all around, and she ended up um, connecting with uh, our city house partnership. And uh, she shared, Charlene there, shared that uh, they could use some help in some of the location. So we reached out to Bob, our senior extraordinaire. And uh, we have uh, this weekend and the following weekend uh, planned painting. Uh, we're going to start with tire washing and uh, cleaning it up, and then um, we have a house got a sprayer. So to yeah, this house is on 11th Street. It's uh, part of the Arcade House Project. It's it's a little house, so uh, I plan to do it over two weekends. So we're going to power wash it tomorrow, <laughs> and then do uh, some extra prep. And it's not really in bad condition, so we're going to do that on Sunday, and then next weekend. And we're good uh, staffing wise for this weekend. Um, and I'll, we've got a meeting next week, right? Yeah, I'll uh, update you on progress on that next week. And uh, the plan is to mask that thing off a uh, week from tomorrow and spray out the body of the, the colors. Uh, we talked to Darlene, She's, she wants to keep them similar to what they are now. So it's a pretty easy paint, um, but it'll be masking it off on Saturday morning, spraying it out, and then we'll pull the masking and then come back on Sunday. That's probably when I will need you know, kind of the most help if you can look at the sign up uh, and get in there and just get that trim painted and uh, everything kind of touched up and whatever. And uh, pretty easy. I'm, I'm expecting uh, we're going to start at 10 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, if we get a nice number of people there and we get it hard, that we only be there maybe till one or two o'clock in the afternoon on any one of those days. So, uh, let me update you again next week and we'll, uh, we'll make sure we're. 
we've got adequate staffing. If you are volunteering, uh, try to remember to you know, bring your painting tools if you have brushes, you know, and, and stuff like that. Um, ladders, you know, it, it's not really tall, but um, we can find uh, something for everybody to do. So anyway, yeah, first little uh, community service thing of the year. Then Dustin took a little trip. He wants to talk about it. Dustin? Is that cute? Yeah. <laughs> so let's see how. Uh, good morning. Uh, so last, uh, what, last uh, Wednesday, I took off to uh, Ephesus. Is this right here? <laughs> 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 okay. I got, I got it right. This one? Yeah. Okay, cool. You all doing good? Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, it's actually, it's actually showing up. We learned. <laughs> Hooray for AJ. Yes. So uh, I'll start over. Last Wednesday, I took off to Evanston, Illinois, uh, and got to go to one Rotary Center, uh, which uh, is our international headquarters for Rotary. Um, I was at a meeting for uh, what's called the Far West Pets uh, uh, Multi District Alliance. So essentially, uh, PETS is an acronym for President Electric <coughs> Seminar, or it used to be President Executive Training Seminar, but that changed. Uh, uh, and all the multi district PETS uh, uh, chairs get together uh, in the United States and meet at uh, Epson at One Rotary Center for uh, a best practices uh, sort of a, a training and conference. So that was why I went there. And uh, I'll be actually. I'll be pets uh, general chair for Far West Pets, which is our pets, which is uh, eight uh, eight districts combined in 2024. So that's why I went, and I'm this year I'm vice chair and secretary. So that said, uh, if you haven't been to one Rotary Center, it's really really cool. Uh, it feels like an international uh, headquarters. Uh, you you know the, the it's in Evanston and it's a little college town. I didn't realize that Northwestern was there, and all the kids that are down there, you know, they call it the Rotary Building, which is really cool. Uh, so you walk into the Rotary building and you see uh, front oh. desk and... Do you want me to go back one? Uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll start here. So this is the Rotary building and that up there is a giant or uh, a Rotary flag. It's waving in the wind. And then, uh, well, let me change the story a little bit. Don't go inside the building. So uh, this is the statue that's outside. It's our uh, polio uh, plus statue. And there's a nice little box that says, uh, the 15 children in the world from uh, Rotary. Uh, and then when you walk in, and this is on the outside, all this kind of colorful stuff. And, and, then, uh, and then on the inside, I'll, I'll tell you about it when I get to the next slide. Uh, when you go to the next slide. You go in, you see a cool plaque right there, and you look, and it has all of our people of action stuff and a big kind of a, a cool wooden sculpture in there. Uh, there's a little uh, museum, as you can see, of what uh, Chicago may have looked at. Outside of uh, 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 Paul Harris's window in his office, right there. So it's pretty cool. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. And as you go up, uh, four one, four seventeen, and four eighteen are Rotary stores. And so on four seventeen, there's the Arts Book Society Gallery, and uh, sort of the foundation uh, people meet up there. And then four eighteen is where our slides are, where that cool picture is. And then you can switch slides. And, and on 14 is also where the international president's office is. Uh, so I got a little quick tour of Jennifer Jones's office. Uh, that's her, like a uh, memorabilia stuff right there with her MMs and a bunch of other stuff that she likes. And then she has the most epic view of Chicago from her uh, international office, which is pretty incredible. And then also on 14 is the international board. So board members sit around uh, this giant table right there and these chairs are Interpreters set up here uh, in those slots up there. And then that's the bell that they use for the reading. So that was pretty cool. So uh, it was fun to get to see all that uh, and really impressive. And then if you go back three slides. 
And then some of the content while we were there, I got to, uh, was introduced to uh, international president elect Roger McNally, and he addressed us about kind of his vision and what's going on with Rotary. And we also heard from our uh, John Hugo, which is our uh, Rotary International CEO, and he told us more about the state of Rotary and kind of the challenges that we're facing. And then uh, we had some sponsors there as well. Uh, you know, we have a float every year in the Rose Parade, and then uh, Shelter Box was there, and Russell Hampton was there, and, uh, uh, and Club Runner was there, uh, and Dak TV. Dak TV and Club Runner are our uh, are connection platforms within Rotary. And then Shelter Box is a pretty amazing organization. We can have a whole presentation on that some other time. So, anyway, uh, and click to the end, and I got a little bit of a chance to walk around. The, the whole weekend was pretty tight, though, but it's the first time I've ever been to uh, uh, Evanston. And like I said, I didn't realize that Northwestern was there. So I walked around the campus and got to see uh, Lake Michigan a little bit. And that's going to be the new coffee shop, El Colectivo, right down the corner. So uh, that's it. I went there about eight times in two days. <laughs> and I did it all. So anyway, that's, uh, that's it. Thanks for giving me time to present. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, totally. So if you have any questions, anything, let me know.